<coughs> okay, so in this video, uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is how to use X-Ways Forensics for email related investigations uh, where you might only be interested in particular email artifacts from email clients. Um, although X-Ways Forensics uh, does pass uh, web histories and things like that from Firefox and what have you, so um, webmail and, and the like is retrievable. Um, I'm only going to cover in this demo um, and the more typical uh, office related email systems which you typically get in large corporations or uh, financial institutions and things like that where they're more likely to be using uh, an email client like Microsoft Outlook, uh, Outlook with Exchange databases at the back end um, or Outlook Express, Mozilla Thunderbird, things like that uh, where you generally have email cabinets like DBXs and PSTs and so on. So what I've done in this instance is I've created a new case. Uh, I've already done this once but uh, made a mess of it so I'm doing it again. Um, and I've added several forensic images already. And the important point is that I've, I've recursively explored the whole case already just to make sure that all these partitions have been passed by X-Ways Forensics. One of the unique aspects of X-Ways Forensics is you can add an image to it, but it won't actually use any resources um, and slow your system down until you've actually clicked on a particular partition. Because you might have a case with 20 forensic images in it, um, but you might have reopened it to look at just one partition of one image. Um, so it doesn't occupy loads of resources just by opening the case, only if you open every single partition of every forensic image, and even then it still does it with blinding stability. Um, <clears throat> but in order for the process that I'm about to show you to work, you have to make sure that all these partitions have been traversed. And you know that because of the fact that you've got numbers for each partition and a total at the top which lists everything for the whole case. <coughs> um, so the first point of note is that there's an option I want to show you uh, which you need to make sure you've got set for email related things. Uh, this dynamic email columns. And what that does is um, if, for example, you change a filter to only to only look at attachments of emails rather than emails themselves or more to the point you might ask it to show attachments of emails and emails um, the dynamic email columns will appear and disappear uh, as you scroll up and down the directory listing up here um, uh, and what I mean by that is things like the from column and the to column and things like that uh, which is quite quite useful when you've got many thousands of files so once that option has been set, we click OK. Um, and then we go to Specialist, Refine Volume Snapshot, or F10. And all we need to do is tick that box, Extract Email Messages and Attachments From. And it will list by default all of these email cabinets in here. Um, it might be that you're only interested in uh, Microsoft PST files or something, um, in which case there's no need to have all these other ones uh, selected. There's also this ellipsis options button, um, which um, I think from memory was added uh, because the guys at X-Ways um, changed and improved the way that X-Ways Forensics dealt with um, PST and DBX cabinets and things like that. Um, but you can choose it, it, opt to use the old method that it used to use, but um, I've, I've never found a need to change that uh, so I just leave it on on new okay so once you've got that ticked um, ensure you've got apply to all London files because uh, there's no point doing this kind of thing for files that are hidden but in a new case you probably doesn't really matter anyway um, and you can as is always the case with x-rays if you want you can choose which forensic images you want to do this for uh, it might be you might have 10 computers but one of them is a server with an email exchange database on it so you only want to apply this to one partition of one image perhaps uh, but in this case I'm just going to choose them all and click OK and okay. so what it does now is it goes off and it finds all the PSTs, DBXs files within them which will appear in X-Ways as EML files so once you've done that you can then change the filter type to email slash EML files 
um, because there's no point asking it to then show you the DBX and things because it's relatively mean. So uh, and I'll just quickly go over to type. Uh, oh, I've, I've actually already done it from earlier, but um, that's the only one you need ticked. You don't need any of the others. Uh, so click activate and then we can choose which forensic images to show the emails for or we can ask it to recursively show us all the email messages for all the forensic images on all the partitions by right clicking at the case root and we click OK and then here it lists all the files um, so with the preview mode on um, here's one of the emails and another email and so on um, another email with a picture embedded and here we go um, another important point uh, is that the type filter sorry um, in the directory browser options there's an attribute filter that you can set um, th this gives you an additional safeguard if you like um, to ensure that uh, you get emails that might not necessarily have been passed as an email might appear in some other form um, but if you tick extracted email you can choose with attachment or if it's just unread um, attachment or embedded it various other bits and bobs um, I, I generally just leave it on type as an email but I think I remember reading the manual uh, some time ago and it said that this can give you some extra safeguards because it's not always the case that an email might appear like that I've still got 47 files listed. Um, um, so that's how you would look. Obviously, once you've looked through all those, you, you can change it into something else. Um, an, an additional point uh, attachments are shown just like that, um, uh, and also with the little paperclip icon there uh, to resemble that it's got attachments, uh, which again you can filter by. You can say only show me emails with attachments. Um, but to look at any of these attachments you just click on the links and they'll open a new tab just over here which you can then close so if I just click that one it opens the, the picture up at the top there and then we just go right click to close and it takes us back to where we were and then we can look at the next picture which does the same thing opens the tab close the tab and takes us back and as usual if we want to bookmark any of these we would create a table association click new email evidence click OK gives it the control 1 sh keyboard shortcut by default uh, these are important uh, because they allow you to set whether you just want that particular item or the parent of it so in this case you would be a bookmark in the inbox DBX if you click that um, direct child objects in that case if that had attachments which this hasn't but if it did it would bookmark if you tick those uh, and if those attachments are zip files with DFC files inside them then if you tick that it will bookmark those too um, and you can also ask it to add to the bookmark any known duplicates of that file that you're bookmarking by ticking that <laughs> it's uh, really really quite amazing so then we click create for the first time uh, and as you'll see you get the little green triangle to that re resemble that it's bookmarked and then as we scroll across uh, rather usefully in the report table column which by the way if it's not visible if you just right click the uh, directory browser columns heading and under report table just add a number of pixels in there and move it up or down as you see fit uh, but mine's already in there 
So then uh, what we can do now, we can choose a few more emails. I'm going to choose several. And I'm going to book that, mark them all just by pressing Control and 1. Like that. So they've all gone green. And now they're all bookmarked too. And then just by way of demonstration, if I bookmark these three files as something else, and let's call it um, something else, we get a Control 2 shortcut key. Click Create, it bookmarks those in the same way. But now what we can do, uh, let's say the case has progressed for several weeks or whatever, and you've got tens or dozens or hundreds of bookmarks. Um, if you right click the column headings, we can then filter by report table. If we click that filter funnel, here are all the bookmarks that you've got with the number of files within them. And we say, I just want to see those. So you click activate, click OK, and here are the files and only the files that are bookmarked, uh, as you can see in there. Um, which would then bring me on to reporting uh, but th that will make this video really big so I'm going to do reporting next hopefully um, so that's that how to examine emails using x-rays forensic quickly and easily